Rose and the Browns. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, because they are they're um, they're doing more national stuff. Even though there are some phenomenal female quartets now, and I have been a champion for uh, women uh, in the quartet community. Uh, going from a uh, major quartet program from one to the other, telling promoters, y'all got to get some women Absolutely. on these programs. You got all these hard legs up in here. <laughs> 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 and you depend on women to buy your ticket. Absolutely. So you need to put some women on your stage. And it's not because they're not qualified, because I'm telling you, some of these women be singing heaven down. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah. I think it's interesting because um, for you to have the background and to be singing from the age of three years old with your dad and um, in ministry and singing with the Warriors and the uh, Trulettes. Well, I didn't sing with the truth. Okay, truth. Oh, that's another one. She's right here. Ooh, yes. Right here in uh Carolina, that's two two. Yeah. The truth that's they came on before me. Right. When I tell you that um I was so excited because as I was telling you on the drive over, um one of the songs that I keep in my pocket that I do is one that um you did when I think of when I hear of my homecoming. <laughs> My home going. My home going. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Yes, Woo. Uh, Just another I song. I think you ought to sing that with me today. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I sure will. I'll be happy to. I think you need to sing that with me today. Well, I, I, I didn't plan it, but we can do it. I know we can do it. <laughs> well, look, I'm excited about I'm excited to be in the presence of the queen oh, of quartet. Oh. You don't know as a as a aspiring vocalist and um, seeing women like you that go hard and go forth with the word because it's the gospel that you sing. There um, there are so many different genres of music, but when it comes down to it, anytime you need a word of inspiration, hmm, you can turn to Miss Evelyn Turntine Aging. Oh boy, well that that's one of the sweetest things, the nicest things, and most inspirational things somebody could say to me, because really. When I come, I I, I like to, I enjoy Jesus. Oh yeah, me too. I'm one. I I, I enjoy Jesus. I enjoy being who I am. Yes. I enjoy telling the world how good He is, and I enjoy telling them what all He's done for me. And I that just goes on and on and on. Sometimes you have to stop me from talking about the goodness of Jesus. So when somebody says I've been blessed by your music then that's a blessing to me because that's what I want to do, bless somebody. And you have done that. Um, we had talked about um, coming on the drive over here how um, the anthem, the gospel anthem now, I'm going to speak that into existence as others have also. Everything to me, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. Um, the power in that is that in this day and age that we live in, a lot of people have strayed away from God. And that right there, as simple as it is in the words, it tells us that there is a higher power that is not within us. And that until we acknowledge who he is, we can't do anything. And so it segues me to your new single. Come on, we got to talk about this new single. <laughs> well, the new single is simply praise again, and it's praise. I tell them this is a love song. The song says God gave his best. His best. His best. And God gave is enough. Yes, <laughs> but yes. then his best is even greater. But, but I call it a love song. It's because of love yes, that ma'am. we're here. Absolutely. Uh, who was it, y'all? Uh, Tina Turner. Oh, yeah. That said, what's, what's love, love got, got to, to do, do with it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love me some Tina, too. You <laughs> know. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Tina said, she asked the question, what's love got to do with it? And I said, it's got everything to do with it. Absolutely. Had it not been for love, we wouldn't be here. Absolutely. For real love. God gave his best. That was love. And so and then his best 
gave his life. Yeah. That was love. That's the, <laughs> and that's the type of love that we all need to experience. That's right. that's and right. in your music, you let people know that uh, it's not about the feeling. That's it's right. not about what's going on in your life, but it's about who God is to us. That's oh my right. God. That's right. Tell me a little bit more about um, some of the things that when you first got into music and you realized, hey, I'm going to be a single um, uh, recording artist. Your thoughts in trying to overcome being that female quartet singer. How did you break into being such a great and dynamic vocalist that can make a difference and a change where it's an industry where women aren't really perceived. Well, I found that that uh, women are honored and well received in other genres of music. It's in the quartet community, the community, uh, and I say this community is male dominated and male driven. Women, I hate to say this, but women will buy tickets to see the male quartets, mm -hmm. but they won't buy the ticket to see a female quartet. Why do you think that is? I was going to say, don't ask me that. Because <laughs> you're going to say, look, you're going to tell me, ain't you? Now you know I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. And I love, that's why I love you. Because, <laughs> I, you know, the dynamic is male and female, the women like to come where men can see them okay. and where they can see the men, oh. you know, even in the church. Okay. And then, so in the quartet community, that's what you have mostly. The women are the greatest ticket buyers. Yeah. But they won't buy that ticket if you don't have some men on there in the quartet community. Now, you can do all female sets in all the other genres of music. And you will have crowds. You have women and men behind the ticket. But in the quartet community, for whatever reason. Okay. So what you're saying, we got to get out and start supporting one another. We need to That's get out right. and buy tickets and support this new project that Miss Evelyn Turntine AG has coming out. Um, this woman, she's not only a singer, but she is a, a wife of how many years? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 50 now, July, 50 years. And I call him my own self, Private Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all ever see him, you'll know why, because he got this beautiful white beard. <laughs> and you know what? I tell everybody, I love the ground that man walked on three days before he got to it. I love that oh man. My <laughs> so this is what I would love for you to do because this is wisdom speaking. I, um, I'm big on family because I think a lot of times that um, we have strayed away from family and for love and from relationships. From a woman that has been married to this, um, to this man for 50 years, what is the advice that you give to women that, um, number one, first, desire to be married, number two, that are already married, um, to help them to make it 50 years? Well, first thing I say is before you can be successful in natural relationships, you need to have a higher relationship. Mm -hmm. Mine has been my relationship with God. Because when I get upset with my husband, I tell him, don't you make me tell God on you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> And, and he respects God in me. Mm -hmm. and, and so when we go through some things, we turn first to God. Mm -hmm. And while we're in the natural, we've got some natural things. One of the things, and I hope I can say this on the video, my husband, uh, when we were first uh, married, he said, whatever we go through, honey, whatever we go through, just don't get out of my bed. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. He said, we're going to go through it in the same bed, whatever mm -hmm. we're going through. Amen. And I tell everybody, I've worn out the rims on a mini mattress. Yeah. <laughs> you hit 50 years of marriage. I, you I, heard it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've ridden that rim, but I didn't get out the bed. Mm -hmm. And we're still here today. And I'm going to tell you something. I love that man today like I loved him before. And he's the same way about me. So, and, and then there are some things... I had to learn this. I learned it the hard way, but I had to learn it. 
sometimes the best thing you can do is shut up. Mm. Wow. And yeah. there's a time to speak. Mm -hmm. And 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 I'm a I'm a strong woman. Mm -hmm. I'm a strong woman. It's hard for anybody to control me. But I realize, and I have to say to my children and to other people who say, come on, let's do this or that and the other. I say, I got to consult my husband because mm -hmm. I'm somebody's wife. Mm -hmm. I'm a grown woman. And many times my husband in my earlier days was always out here on the road with me. And when we were out, my husband would say, honey, I'm hungry. I'm the artist. I gotta go on the stage, right? But I feed my husband. Ooh, come on here, servitude. And then I hear you. And then, and not only do I feed him, we many times would go to smorgasbords when we'd be out uh, 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 traveling, and we'd be in the restaurant. I get up and fix my husband's plate Amen. and bring it to him. That's what I do at home. There are things. I'm an old-fashioned wife, and my husband ain't no pork and beans <laughs> and we <ain't> a husband. <laughs> I leave off the road sometimes and get home. I'm very tired, but my husband is the kind of man that loves to smell food cooking in the Amen. house. And I go home cooking greens that did, ain't glory. Mm. They didn't come out no can. That's right. That's right. I picked my greens and fixed him some greens and some black-eyed peas or some beans because <laughs> he loves it. That's what he loves. And then, uh, and when I'm really nice to him, I said, now, what else you want? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what else do you want? I think I wanted to speak to that because we know that um, we know the, the songs, we know the artists, but I wanted to get to know the woman, and I need people to see the woman that is there. Um, we're getting ready to wrap it up and we're going to try to come back around um, and get a second